with that, we're going to move to item E3, which is our city manager report. City manager, Nina Vetter. Thank you, Mayor and Council. Um, I'm fighting a cold, so apologies if I have the sniffles or start sneezing <laughs> in the middle of this. Um, I have a few updates as always for you this evening. Uh, so I will start with an update from our police organizational assessment review that's underway. Um, I wanted to highlight some of the great steps that we've already taken as a result of this work and in particular, thank Council for your support of those initial key steps. One of the key findings from the emergent memo from the organizational review is that the Gresham Police Department should prioritize hiring additional personnel, which should include the use of sworn and non-sworn personnel and consider both temporary and permanent solutions. Um, and the funding that has been approved through the use of ARPA dollars has been really critical uh, for us to get the increase in personnel um, that we need. So thank you to council for that. Um, just for an update on our recruiting process and where we're at, um, as of last week, uh, we had 31 applicants in, for entry level a sworn police officer position, which is really great. And we're actually in the middle of our hiring process uh, for several new hire candidates. And we have also posted our recruitment for laterals as well. Um, in addition, we have uh, put a referral process um, on our website recently. And last but not least, um, I really think it's important to recognize the great job of our police department um, and what they are doing, knowing that there is a gap between when we identify someone, we, we interview them, um, we're excited to bring them on board, and then we have to wait 18 months until they're post academy and can be operational in the field. Our police department has identified ways of doing some pre-training, pre-state academy um, with trainers and giving people time with coaches um, to prep them for the academy and also to prepare them for being ready to be in the field, uh, which is really just great creative work on, on the behalf of our police department um, to get us up and running as quickly as possible. So thank you council for the support for the funding and the positions and thank you to our police department for being creative to try to onboard people in the best way possible. Uh, we have an exciting event coming up this Saturday, March 5th. It's the annual uh, 24th Johnson Creek Watershed event. Um, the main city park location for this event, because um, there are several locations along the Johnson Creek watershed, um, will be a Spanish bilingual location with a restoration um, translator on site. Uh, so it's a family friendly event. Um, equipment will be provided um, and also there is lunch afterwards. Um, so you can read more about this event if you're interested um, coming out and spending some time um, helping clean up our one of our important watersheds, please check out our website. Um, it's a really great opportunity. I also wanted to give a brief update on an important project that we don't talk a lot about at Council, um, but it really is key, which is our Cascade Groundwater Project, um, which uh, we had the groundbreaking earlier in 2021. Um, but there's been a lot of great work going um, and underway, uh, there's so much happening behind the scenes. So I just wanted to call attention to a few of the important steps that we've made recently on this project. Uh, we have started pouring the foundation and floor for the reservoir, um, and our contractor started um, uh, wall pours as well. Um, our large diameter 36 inch piping installation will start soon, and we are starting design work for the Kirk Park well house and the 223rd well drilling. So a lot of infrastructure is, is going into place currently and a lot of the important design work that really is the, the, the foundation um, for infrastructure is going on as well. So a lot of great work um, by our, our water department happening behind the scenes on this, in this crucial infrastructure project. My other last update before we get to my favorite segment, which is Gresham Creek, um, is COVID related. Um, you may have heard from the state that the state mask mandate will be lifted effective March 12th. Um, in addition to that, uh, we are looking at preparing logistically to have um, the ability to have the public be in person at council meetings starting in April with our first April council meeting. So staff is prepared to make that transition at that time. 
of course, pending anything drastic um, that may happen between now and then. <laughs> uh, but as of right now, that is currently our plan. Uh, once we have uh, more information about that, as well as uh, what our next phase of customer service looks like as we go to our, what we term our transition to the future, uh, because we will we'll be going back to a, a past status in any way, shape or form, uh, but we're moving forward in a future where we embrace our hybrid work environment. We've learned a lot about how we can provide great customer service, not just in person, but remotely as well. Um, online and over the phone. So we will also be providing some information in the next few weeks out to the public about what our customer service hours um, and times and availability will look like beginning in April as well. So a lot more information coming on that front shortly, but I wanted to give you the update for today. And of course, last but not least, our Gresham Great is a big kudos for our parks crew. And this actually comes directly from a um, homeowner um, who sent a heartfelt message of gratitude and appreciation for our park staff recently. Um, our homeowner contacted the parks crew because a tree um, had fallen from one of our natural areas, so our responsibility um, on the fence of a homeowner. Um, and our team um, that included Sue, John, Nick, Sahid, and, Ka and Kevin um, were actually able to go out and address this very large tree that fell in a timely manner. And um, our homeowner was really appreciative of the great customer service and responsiveness of that team. So thank you, Parks Crew. You're our Gresham great for tonight. And that is my update for this evening. <laughs>